Off the handle, Chris Nyland. Stepped out, three on two. He's got Poulton with him and Marquardt. Nyland to Marquardt. Shooting, he scores! Uh, this is a line outside of Poulton that doesn't get much ice time. Chris Nyland and Nevin Marquardt, he's not a great goal scorer, but he finds himself in a super position. Little give and go between Poulin and Nylon. Boy, you love to get pucks in that spot. You can just tee it up. Happy guy, Nevin Marquardt. His first point of the series, Nylon and Poulin get the assist to 317. The Bruins moving out to Hodge. Zalapki's back, here's Paul Sweeney late, tucked in, shoots, scores! Going with nine points to the leading scorer in this series, still among the scoring leaders in Stanley Cup play. Mike Milbury and Chris Nyland can have a little chuckle. Yeah, there you go. Here's Paul Sweeney to poke it in. Got tangled up with Lazaro, who went down. And it's Evison giving it to Cote. Three Bruins are back. Letters are offside, but the Bruins control. They're allowed to bring it out. And particularly in that first period. Here's the last key firing towards and that kicked out by Moog. By Hunter. Belted by Bob Sweeney, and he'll get a call. Hunter is down. He's injured. Play continues as the pass is centered. Hodge controls. And sticking indicated by Kerry Fraser. He's checking Mark Hunter. And we'll have the verdict on Bob Sweeney's call when we come back for the Bruins in front. Sweeney, Bob Sweeney, 20 will come in and get the stick up right here. And he'll cut Mark Hunter above the right eye and he'll get a five minute high sticking major, automatic ejection. Reach back for it, looks for Verbeek, taken away by Galley, feeds Ruzicka. Ruzicka gets it once again. Nice play to Christian. He scores! Dave Christian has scored in four straight games of the series. He makes it 3-0. And then, well, you saw that on the uh, Bruin power play, too. It was the second time in tonight's game that they've left Neely all alone. I mean, they're just running around. Things can explode in the Whalers' faces very quickly as the Bruins are... Ready to hop on that type of situation. Deneen gets the better of a collision with Cam Neely. As Lattisir has the puck, gives it to Deneen. And now Lazaro hurdles himself into Everson. It's Lazaro who's shaken up. As we now get a whistle as the Bruins control. Don Sweeney comes across with a stick on Sear, and Lazaro is flexing his right leg. We're going to get a trainer out there. He seems to be in... A lot, a lot of pain. Let's watch as he and well, I don't know if he's going to fall in it. Oh, I see it. The way he landed. If it wasn't the knee that collided with uh, Dean Everson. By Krieger behind the net. He gets it back to Shaw. And to Krieger. He's got Brown in front. Can't find him though. He was run over by Galley. Krieger is down and shaken up, and as the Whalers control, Fraser halts play. Now Krieger is struggling to get to his skates, and he's going to wait for trainer Bud Govea to come out and help him. I can only think that he might have got this right between the pants and the top of the shoulder pads, right in an unprotected spot. Obviously, if he's in pain. Let's see where the if it is a stick or... Maybe it's a leg then. I don't know. That didn't look like that uh, the stick was involved there. Yeah. Nail pretty good right in front of Frazier. No wonder John Collins got his dandruff buck. He turns and looks at Frazier. Zdorkovic off the glass support to Kote. He steps away from Craig Janning with a pass to Evis. And he was melted by Mark Clark. They will keep the Whalers off the board of the intermission. The horn sounds now as Mark Ward and Huda get sticks up. Janney took a shot right after the horn sounded. The Whalers felt he could have held up. Huda went right after him. Then the, uh, Mark Ward come in after Huda. That's a close call, but if the player really thinks that uh, 
another player could have held up and you got to go question him there's no doubt about it more or less going to get the puck straight back at Evison control uh, the winner's got to use four uh, three forwards and a defenseman in he does he shoots he scores hunter sends it in off most glove with 659 remaining in the third period at 3 1. Off the face on Slavsky has it, fires, and that's the end of the season for the Hartford Whalers. The Boston Bruins clinch this Adams Division semifinal series four games to two over the Hartford Whalers with a three to one victory tonight before a sellout crowd of 15,635 of the Hartford Civic Center Coliseum, and the Bruins celebrate. The Whalers console themselves and prepare to shake hands. At center ice, the tradition in Stanley Cup play as the series comes to an end as the Bruins will go on to face either Montreal or Buffalo. Montreal is trying to close out its series with the Sabres tonight at Memorial Auditorium. Uh, leading the way is Andy Moog in the handshaking department, and he should be first in that line as he was uh, the top Bruin player. I thought from other areas also that Wesley didn't play a great game tonight, didn't have to. He was also a top player in the series, as was Bork and Poulin, and they were the better team. There's no argument about it. But you know what they were, Rick? They were prepared and ready for the breaks that they got. And if you're not ready to take advantage of the breaks, then you usually don't win. The Bruins, through whatever you want to say, tradition, history, uh, pleasant preparation, they were ready to take advantage of the breaks they got. One of the main breaks is a goal by this man here on the power play at the start of the third period, game five. But an interesting series and a very entertaining one. It's well played by each team. Now, when you go to the playoffs 24 straight times, you learn how to win games and key games and series. That's what the Bruins did. They closed it out three to one with a victory in game six. They won the series four games to two. For some of our Sports Channel audience, we bid you farewell. And for others, stay with us. We'll continue from the Civic Center in a moment.